harassing me. By all means, but you can't do it while you're driving. I was, I can, I wasn't, doesn't texting or none of that. Do you have, and you had that you picture? you scared me and made me think you were going to murder me. Okay, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, you're, that's not just a feeling, you're a murderer. Okay. Can you zoom in on that for me, Sure. Jane? Thank you. And I'm perfectly legal, and I'm a teacher, so there. Congratulations. Murderer. You're a murderer. What's your last name? I can't see that there. Well, if here you, you stop, go, stop murderer. shaking. Zoom in on that for no, me, No, because right? you're scaring me. Oh, you're threatening to kill me and my son. Can you give me okay. the... I mean, uh, I mean, I don't... I just uh, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on here. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of Darth Mother Fucking News Special Edition Racist of the Week. And oh boy, is this person racist. This bitch is racist. All right, so let me just kind of give you the rundown. So there's this Latino LA County uh, officer and his body cam shows a video of a woman claiming to be a teacher, <coughs> um, and she goes off on a psycho babble racist tirade when she gets pulled over. Fortunately, this Latino police officer is a grown up and knows how to deal with children, little immature children, racist psycho children. And his calm demeanor and how he handled the situation with his crazy bitch was met with praise. And his superior, the LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva, said that he was appalled by the video, but he commended his deputy for staying professional. Because being polite, professional, and courteous, even when someone's being a dick to you, goes a long way. It's so funny that she claims to be a teacher, but I have no idea what she's possibly teaching. Probably gender studies or something like that. And if she's representing her profession, then this might as well just be an indictment on her and all the teachers like her that are preaching woke crazy fucking shit. It's just fucking crazy. They're psycho. I'm a controlled psycho. A reasonable psycho. Not a fucking psycho psycho. It's, it's just so frustrating and just so annoying that you, can, you have a rare and isolated incident like George Floyd, okay? And now all of a sudden, everybody, your institutions, your teachers, professors, the mainstream media, fucking everybody, they're labeling anybody who works in law enforcement or who is affiliated with law enforcement a goddamn Derek Chauvin. Everybody is now a Derek Chauvin. You, you are guilty for his crimes. You're a murderer. You are literally guilty for his sins. No, if one police officer kills one black person, even one, then everybody who's a police officer is guilty. You're all fucking murderers, all of you. I mean, the left loves throwing blanket labels over all types of groups of people. Like if you're a white person, it doesn't matter. If you're white, you're racist. All white people are racist. All cops are bastards. All cops are murderers. All cops hunt down and fucking kill black people because they get off on it. It doesn't matter if they're Mexican. It doesn't matter if they're black. It doesn't matter if they're Chinese. It doesn't matter if they're fucking black or white. It doesn't, fucking... it doesn't matter what color police officer you are. It doesn't matter what your beliefs are. If you're a police officer, you're a murderer. <sighs> okay, so before I go on to a longer rant than necessary, let's go ahead and watch this video and I will break it down as we watch it. A Applejack, hit it. going at 38. Yeah, yes, you are, ma'am. like before the cop even approaches her car, she's rolling her window down going, excuse me, excuse, sir, do you know why I'm being arrested? Because I was going under the speed limit, hello? Hey, the speed limit's 40, I was going 38. Were you stupid? Who said you were being arrested? Nobody, nobody. Oh, because you're black. They're gonna arrest you and then shoot you because you're black, right? That, that is that. Good morning. What is and the speed limit is 40, and I was going 38. So why are you harassing you me? You are correct. Big lady, simply being pulled over for a legitimate driving violation is not harassment. You're like harassing me. You're such a racist. You're harassing me. You are correct. I pulled you over because, because you're a murderer. Because you're a murderer, like. Jesus! You're a murderer. Because uh, yes, I started to record because you can't you're a murderer. Be a, you can't be on your cell phone I, I wasn't while you're on driving. My phone. I was recording you because you scared you can't, me. You can't use your cell I phone while you're recording. You. May I have your driver's license? So she, she used her phone while driving to record a police officer because she was scared that he was going to murder her? 
What a fucking idiot. What a psychopath. You know what? You deserve that ticket. And yeah, by the way, for the record, you can film police officers, just not while you're driving. You can't just be like, hey, I'm driving, but I'm also recording you because I don't want you to kill me. Ah! You know, that, that's how you have accidents. You shouldn't drive and text. Honestly, people who are on their phones while they drive piss me off more than drunk drivers. About the same. They piss me off about the same. Because when you're recording on your phone, you're looking through your phone. You're not paying attention to the road. Otherwise, you wouldn't know what to film. So you're not paying attention to the road. That is a fucking violation. You could get someone killed. You stupid fucking... You, I mean, you got your kid in the car. You have your, have your child in the next seat. May I have your driver's license? I, it's, it's at my apartment. What's your apartment? It's at my home. I'm just taking my son to his. Do you party. have a, Do you have your driver's license? I, it, I mistakenly left it at home. Do you have a picture of your driver's license? Yes, I do. May I have it? <laughs> oh boy, is this getting better and better? So she's not only driving while using her phone and recording a police officer. She doesn't even have her driver's license on her. Okay, she doesn't even have her li You know what? F fuck it. And can you call your supervisor, please? Because I, I already did. He's on his way. Good, because you're a murderer. <laughs> because you're a murderer? What in the actual living fuck are you talking about? What the f Could you just call your supervisor? I did. Good, because you're a murderer. And by the way, I hope you guys have recognized so far that this officer has not been rude, confrontational, aggressive, or instigative at all. He, he, he's been totally chill because he's not here to kill anybody. He's not here to fucking murder you. He's just here to give you a stupid cell phone ticket. So chill the fuck out, sign the ticket, and get on with your fucking day. Uh, he approached her calmly, professionally, while staying rather polite, even though this crazy bitch is throwing crazy insults and laughable accusations towards him. He's staying cool, calm, and collected, man. This is, this is how you stay composed. This is how you don't end up shooting someone by accident. You just stay calm. This person's obviously a psychopath. Okay. And so you're giving me a cell phone ticket? Is that why you're harassing me? Not harassment. Yeah. I, I am enforcing the law. I now. have a right to and record the police when they're harassing me. By all means, but you can't do it while you're driving. I was. I can. I wasn't. Doesn't texting or none of that. Do you have? And you, have that you picture? scared me and made me think you were going to murder me. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, you're. That's not just a feeling. You're a murderer. What are you saying? You're making literally no sense. You sound like you're smoking crack. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's not just a feeling. You're a murderer. Only super drunk people and people that are smoking crack cocaine talk like this. I mean, this lady is lucky he didn't give her a sobriety test because she, <laughs> I'm not saying she's drunk. She's just drunk on fucking leftist conspiracy brainwashing bullshit. But if I was a cop and some bitch was talking to me like this, oh, get out the car, get out the car. I'm giving you a sobriety test right now. Even if I didn't think she was drunk, I would do it just to fucking piss her off because people like this just need a good spanking. Okay. Can you zoom in on that for me? Sure. Jay? Thank you. And I'm perfectly legal and I'm a teacher. So there. Congratulations. Murderer. I'm like perfectly legal and I'm a teacher. So there. God, God, congratulations. <laughs> good job for being a teacher. Congrats. But that basically explains everything that I need to know about you. You're a teacher and you hate the police. Say no more, baby doll, say no more. I mean, shit, if you haven't, just go ahead and watch my last video. Now, I just wanna make this very clear because in my last video, I upset a couple people. Not all teachers are woke progressives fucking pushing some radical ideology, one group think. Not all teachers are about that life. Just like how not every cop is a bastard or a murderer or a fucking Derek Chauvin. You're a murderer. What's your last name? I can't see that there. Well, if here you, you stop, go, stop murderer. shaking. Zoom in on that for no, me, No, because right? you're scaring me. Oh, you're me. threatening to kill me and my son. Hold on, like, hold on. Lady, how the hell did this guy scare you so much that you thought he was going to murder you and your son? You, you think he's trying to kill you and your kid? Do, do, has he been aggressive towards you at all? Has he, has he even raised his voice? What gives you the inclination that he wants to murder you and your kid in broad fucking daylight on the side of the highway? Ah! 
I mean, can you guys see how the radical left and the mainstream media have affected people's minds and their mental stability and brainwashed them with, with fear porn and fear mongering every day, day in, day out. It's the end of the world. It's fucking just doomsday every day. Every cop is the killer. Every cop is racist. Every cop wants to fucking murder you and your family. Every cop hunts down black people. Now, I'm not trying to defend police all the time, but it's like, you're giving me really no choice. The last year and a half, police officers have been viciously and unjustfully attacked. They have been verbally abused and they have been smeared through all kinds of media outlets from here to the high heavens. Police aren't perfect. Nobody's perfect. Fucking nobody. No one, no group of people or individuals, no, no company, no business, nobody's perfect, okay? I do believe we need strong police reform. I believe that police officers must be held more accountable for their actions. But by treating police officers like this, like how this bitch is doing, this, this is how you create more division. You are not going to fix anything. You're only going to drag this out forever and ever and ever, and nothing will ever get accomplished. You will never see eye to eye. You're just going to bitching and moaning and crying racism for the rest of your life. The radical left, BLM, Antifa, they're not about finding solutions. They're about watching everything burn and then changing the whole system without your permission. That's what they want to do. They want to abolish the police, not just defund the police. They want to abolish it completely. Goodbye. They want to abolish prison systems. Like, do you know what would happen if you got rid of prison systems? Like, threatening to kill me and my son. Can you give me okay. the, the well, you, iPad, you, I'll tell you what, you keep smiling, yeah, you're on camera. You keep, you're, you're trying to threaten to kill me. I'm I not didn't smiling, say that. you're the one who's crazy. Hold that still, I can't see that. Uh, is this your car? Yes, it is. And um, you're trying to say I stole my own car because you're jealous? Are you saying that I stole my own car because you're jealous? Bitch, shut the fuck up. He never once said your car is stolen and he don't give a fuck what kind of car you drive and neither does anybody else except for you. And on top of that, fuck Mercedes, you pretentious, narcissistic, see you next Tuesday. And I'm pretty sure high school teachers don't earn enough money to pay for a brand new Mercedes E-Class. So my guess is that your husband bought it for you. And it's funny because, you know, as a BLM commie that you are, you probably preach, you know, the horrors of capitalism to your students while you sit in a comfy, luxurious vehicle. She's one of those uh, champagne socialists. Yeah, is that what I don't that's think about? so. You wait for me right here, okay? You're jealous. Citation. All you need to do is get your signature. He's only citing you for using your cell phone while you're driving. That's it. Here you go, Bam. Sign inside for the red box. A, right there. For him being a Mexican racist. Uh, a Mexican racist? But by your logic, the left, I thought only white people could be racist. Like, what is this woman's problem? You'll never be white. You know that? <laughs> what in God's name makes you think that he wants to be a white person? He's probably very proud to be Mexican or Latino. You know, minorities that join the, the police force are not trying to be white. That's not what they're trying to do. They're trying to earn a paycheck and protect the community. Being a Mexican racist, what is that name? Gas. It's under citation, man. Here you go, Mexican racist. You're always going to be a Mexican. You'll never be white. You know that, right? You'll never be white, which is what you really want to be. There you, you go, be dear. White. Have a good day. You want to be white so bad? Honestly, to act this way, to act this immature, this racist, this psychotic in front of your fucking kid is awful. It is bad parenting. You are not a good role model. You are a fucking terrible mother. Uh, so anyway, that about wraps up all I have to say today on this topic. Thank you so damn much for tuning in. And until next time, don't you dare forget to pull out. That is P-O-O -O fucking L. And as always, please feel free to like, share, and or subscribe. And, and, hit, and hit that bell. Or, or don't. You don't have to hit the bell, but you know. No, YouTube will never recommend my videos. And uh, the fact that I swear so much in my videos, all of them are limited monetization. So uh, I think in the last two months, I've only earned a dollar and 63 cents. So yeah, uh, I don't earn any money here, even though I'm monetized. So please feel free to go to darthnews.com, buy some merch or go to my Patreon and donate as little as $1 a month. It goes a long way. It, do it does. All of your continued support that I receive off YouTube is how I get to stay me. I get to stay dark. I get to keep swearing. I get to keep saying what I want to say. I know there's a lot of you who thought I was going to sell out as soon as I got monetized. That, that I would just all of a sudden just be zip-lipped. I wouldn't swear. I wouldn't say, you know, like, cunt or faggot or thing. You know, not that I... Don't take it out of context. But, but a lot of people thought that I was going to change my method, my style, my, uh... 
my foul language. But uh, as you all know, I can't do that. I can't abandon Darth. Otherwise, I'm abandoning you. I'm abandoning what it means with this, with this, you know, what fuck. Stop swearing and stop speaking my mind, then I would just be abandoning what the point of this whole channel even is. I can't just, you know, rip out the heart and soul of Darth News. So, uh, yeah, please feel free to support me uh, and my work. I'll fuck you later. See, I'll see you, I'll see you later. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us? Just a stranger on a bus? Trying to make his way home. I'm not a good singer. I have a terrible voice! Stop! Stop! Sit down like a normal person! Am I a normal person, Miss Bryant? No! I'm black!